Has your G27 stopped working since you bought other Logitech peripherals and started using G-Hub? Then this fix is for you. G'day and welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me. So today we've got a little bit something different. Uh, it's still a hobby, but it's a bit of a different hobby. It's gaming. I'm looking at the G27 here. Um, there's a problem with the G27. Actually, it's not with the G27. It's with the Logitech software side of things. Twice now, uh, after updating G-Hub, I have had this wheel stop working. And what happens is this. So I'm going to record this in uh, post, um, which has afforded me the opportunity to quickly mention that I couldn't record this in post until I turned off G-Hub. Yeah, Logitech, you're on a freaking win. Anyway, moving forward. As you can see, the computer is restarting and the wheel has restarted. Now, I also uh, was listening to Scott Manley, so um, I had to record this in post. Make sure you check out his channel if you're interested in space news or anything space uh, related. Anyway, now, as you can see... The wheel has gone uh, dead here while Windows is starting up, and I believe this is something to do with Windows uh, taking over control of the drivers. Now it'll uh, get itself restarted as Windows gets its head together, and I'm going to log in. At this point, if you have Logitech uh, G Hub um, start at login enabled, you will see the problem we're about to skip forward to now. But as you can see, the wheel is functioning as per normal. So now I have uh, the Logitech gaming software open, the current version, and the wheel is still functioning. But when I start G-Hub, watch the wheel. Err, err, err. It's uh, had a problem. And you can see it's flashing the uh, LED sequence on both the wheel and the uh, the gearbox there, and there's a closer look at the one on the wheel. And there's the one on the gear stick. And the second G-Hub starts, it kills the wheel. As you can see, freaks out. There's some sort of driver fight going on, and eventually G-Hub overwrites the drivers for Logitech gaming software. Now, I've been on the uh, blower, the, the internet blower, uh, to, um, to Logitech support and they were not actually able to help me the second time this happened, but I kept persevering and may have accidentally remembered how I fixed it the first time. Okay, so what you wanna do is go to the link below, download uh, the legacy version of the uh, LGS 5.10, then remove the copy of, leg of the uh, Logitech gaming software that you have. Get something like BitIO here, and remove any of the trace uh, files that are left over. You can also do this by going manually to the uh, location that you had the gaming software installed and removing the files that are left over. Then restart your machine. Then install 5.10 of the Logitech gaming software that you have downloaded below. After this, it should detect this device as long as this is not broken and um, that should be that. One final thing is that I have had inconsistent results with using G-Hub and Logitech gaming software together. At the moment, and once before, I have had it working stably together, even able to restart the computer with both of them starting a startup. However, in the past, that has caused a problem. And I would recommend that you also go into your G-Hub software, which I'll just quickly fire up. Go into your G-Hub software, go to the settings in the top corner, and click off, start up. Always start after login, turn that off. And then you can be sure that, uh, you know, at least the wheel's gonna work. Now, um, this isn't an ideal solution, and uh, I'm really actually currently waiting for a reply from the Logitech support guys. Um, she said she's gonna email me back, uh, so we'll hopefully get something. Um, I'm sure they're aware of this. Uh, it's been around for at least six months or something like that. You know, and uh, if you're in Australia right now on um, Logitech, you might wanna listen to this. It's not so easy to get peripherals and, and just bits at the moment, like there's a lot of stuff that's sold out and you can't just get your hands on. Um, you know, and these these are expensive devices, so let's, let's you know, keep that support going strong, eh guys? Anyway, 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, enjoy the wheel with a bit of SnowRunner. Um, and if you're having problems with that, setting that up, please comment down below. I uh, hopefully can help you out there. It's um, just a bit more finicky than, uh, than difficult, but it is possible to get the G27 working with SnowRunner, um, despite what you may see people say about it on the net. Uh, yeah. Anyway, peace out, be well, like and subscribe, and all that good stuff.